Hey guys, I just wanted to make a uh, really quick video on just how to start one of these French mobilities. And so I'm just going to kind of give you a generic rundown and show you how to do it. So make sure you're switched over to M here for motor. So it uh, just kind of grabs it, it grabs the chain here and uh, actually engages your engine. You'll be able to tell if you're not um, in motor mode. Uh, you'll pedal it way too fast. It'll almost feel like a bicycle. First things first, you want to go to your pet cock here. Um, I have my side cover off, so it's easy to see. But this, mine's aftermarket, uh, there'll just be a switch, but mine, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that on. Now we're getting gas to the carburetor. On your left handlebar here with the choke lever, you're gonna wanna make sure that this is turned right, and that means that your engine is ready to go. Uh, this is basically your kill switch. If you have it left, your bike won't start, right will. These are always faded. You can never see which way is actually on or off. On your handlebars here, you have two levers. This one is your, called your decomp, and this one is called your choke. So to start a bike when it's cold, you're gonna need both levers. The decomp switch, I wanna show you what that does. So on the head of the engine, you'll see that there's a cable here. That's your decomp cable. So when I pull in, you'll notice it pulls it down. And what, what it's doing when it pulls it down is it's actually allowing more air to escape, making it easier for you to turn your engine over. Um, you can start it without it, but it's, it's a lot harder. Our choke cable, on the other hand, goes directly to your carburetor. Um, and it's just easier to start a bike that's cold with the choke um, being on. So now that you know what both switches do, um, I'm going to tell you how to start it. So when you're starting, you want to hold in both levers. And as you pedal and the motor starts turning over, you want to drop the decomp and give it a little bit of gas. And then once you feel it starting to run, drop the choke and you should be able to take right off. Now I do want to say that I typically like to start my bikes rolling, but um, for this application, I'm just gonna give you an example of a bike that's on its kickstand. So again, before you start the bike, make sure your gas is on, and once we know that we have gas going into the carburetor, we're going to want to Make sure your switch is on, like we went over. Stand up on the bike. Pull on both switches, choke and decon. Yeah, start. 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 